Alright, we're back at it again with part 3 of modeling this dog. In this part we will be modeling the hind legs of the dog. This part is fairly short because we will be using techniques we used in part 1 in modeling the front legs um, to model the hind legs of the dog. So to begin we will be going into x-ray mode and then we will move the vertices to best fit the red circle that have that has been drawn on the reference image. This is so we can have a nice extrusion when we create the hind legs for the dog. Um, one thing to remember is to always have symmetry enabled whenever you're modeling. Um, it saves half the work, but if you do not have symmetry enabled, you can always fix it um, by going into the front view and deleting half of the faces of your model, and then going into object mode and mirror doing mirror geometry on what's left. Um, and that should fix it. So now we will extrude the hind legs because we have matched up the vertices as best we could with the reference image. We will select all the faces. extrude and yeah it looks a little bit weird so we're gonna scale it make it fairly small and then we will be moving those down just as we did the front legs of the dog Next, in order to give the hind legs much more definition, we will be adding multiple edge loops on the extrusion we just created. In this case, I do 15 edge loops. You can do however many you want or need. I always reset the tool after I do it, just in case I need one more um, edge loop. I don't want to accidentally do 15 more, but it's a simple undo if you do. Okay, so now I'm doing as I did the front legs, and I am making the edges of the hind legs um, flow into the hind legs. Um, this is good practice if you're ever going to plan on animating um, uh, the part of the creature that you're modeling. And in this case, uh, we will be modeling or animating the hind legs. Because we only have a side view reference image, a lot of the shaping of the dog will be up to you and will um, allow for your own interpretation of the reference image and how you want your model to look is up to you, of course. Right now I'm moving the hind legs vertices to match the reference image as best they can. And I will go into perspective view to do some finishing touches. When I'm finished.
Okay, now I've gone into perspective view and I'm doing those finishing touches. Remember, you do not have to follow the reference image exactly if you do not want to. You can always have your own input into or have your own interpretation of the reference image. And you can do as much detail as you want if you want to do more or less than I did. It's up to how much time you're willing to spend on it because modeling in Maya is fairly time consuming. Or should I say organic modeling in Maya is fairly time consuming. As you can see, I switch between views fairly often, and I, I look at the hind legs in different views so I can have a better idea of what the model actually looks like. Um, there can always be small kinks and quirks that you'll miss. Um, and you may not care, it's fine, but um, if you want to be the best, <laughs> then look for those little quirks. As you see, I wanted a little extra point in that hind leg, so I added another edge loop. And I'm just shaping the legs as best I can imagine a dog's legs would be shaped. Alright, and that's the hind legs, part three.